you're thinking about moving to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in this video we're going to show you around Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're going to take you through some neighborhoods, show you different homes and different price points so you can see what may fit with your budget. Now, if you stick around to the end, I will share with you the best kept secret in Fort Lauderdale that you don't want to miss out on. Let's get after it right now. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about playing, sleeping, eating in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, make sure to subscribe down below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current real estate market in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. My name is Adela Phillipson. We get calls, texts, and emails from people every day looking for help to make their move to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and we absolutely love it. Whether it's nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, all the information is down below in the description so we can help make your move to Fort Lauderdale nice and smooth. So we are in downtown Fort Lauderdale. If you can kind of see behind me, there are condos across the way. And overall, this is basically condo living, city living, where you don't really need a car uh, to get around. Living in Fort Lauderdale, it is a boater's lifestyle. You have fantastic views everywhere you go. We are currently along New River. This is located in downtown Fort Lauderdale, just a block off of Las Olas Boulevard. If you are on Las Olas Boulevard, just make sure to make a left on North New River East and it will take you along the entire river walk, which is very pleasant. Um, you know, if you happen to be at the restaurants on Las Olas, it's a nice walk just to kind of walk off that food. But overall, people who kind of live in these condos walk their dogs, they go bike riding, early morning walk or evening walk. It's a very active lifestyle really being in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. You know, some people kind of go fishing, but overall there's a lot of these boats docked here. So sometimes it's just really fun to see the different type of boats, the sizes, uh, fishing boats, boats people live in, uh, maybe even some kind of cool, boat that I'll show you up ahead has like two 600 horsepower engines which is pretty pretty intense um, and that so we're on the north side of the river that's the south side of the river so you can actually walk on that side as well and there's some restaurants here um, for example there's salt seven just up ahead and there is the downtowner um, on the south side of the river um, that you can also just you know have a meal there fish and chips is my favorite to get there check out this bad boy here right behind me hopefully I'm getting a good shot of it but it's a two 600 power engine uh, on this boat isn't that just gorgeous just want to show you jungle queen over there my favorite um, every time I have family and friends come, we always go. Ticket's about $20 a person. It's about an hour and a half. They generally go off at 12 and at 2, but they even have some evening, night, um, like dinner cruises with some shows. I haven't done that one yet, but it is pretty fun. Um, you're on the boat the entire time. It doesn't stop. It's for an hour and a half, and not only does it take you along this river and show you, it's just very picturesque. Uh, it takes you along the Intracoastal Waterway so you can see all those multi-million dollar homes. But what's really cool is they actually take you over to Port Everglades and bring you up close uh, side by side to those massive cruise liners um, here in Fort Lauderdale. You know, people fly from all over the United States to Fort Lauderdale to get on one of those cruise liners to then go to the Caribbean Bahamas and just kind of um, cruise around. But that one's pretty fun when you're here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I highly recommend. They do have a bar um, and a snack bar in the back, and it's very inexpensive. It's like a dollar for chips, two dollars for a beer, you know, three dollars for a glass of wine. Very inexpensive, totally fun. And then the person who is talking and giving you a tour of Fort Lauderdale, Florida is really funny. They have some amazing stories. It's just fun for the family, um, regardless of age. It's just very entertaining. I highly recommend though getting early because everybody likes to take those seats up in the front. Now, when you are in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, it's also really great to catch the water taxi. It has 10 stops. Um, I 
I want to say it's about $20 to $30 a person. It's hop on, hop off all day. This is one of their stops. Um, that one's just really if you want to park your car for the day and then just kind of take that and it really takes you to some of the hot spots, one of them being right here, of course. Now, a lot of people know Fort Lauderdale as being the yacht capital of the world because there's so many boats, um, but other people also refer to it as the Venice of America, and you can see because we have so many waterways. So I am here on Las Olas Boulevard. It's a huge attraction. Highly recommend checking it out. Basically, there are a lot of um, restaurants and shops along here. Um, right behind me was El Camino Mexican Restaurant. That's a really good place. There's also Rocco's Tacos down the street if you're looking for some Mexican food. A lot of Italian places, coffee shops, and this florist and coffee shop is my absolute favorite. Um, they have museums, art places, sunglasses in case you might have forgotten yours while you're visiting here in town. They even have um, like surf shops, so if you need a bathing suit or anything like that, that's behind me. It's one of my favorite shops. It's Anna's Florissant Coffee Shop. Sorry it's a little bit loud. They're doing construction right next door, but otherwise going inside is amazing. They actually even have a bar in the back, so if you want a martini, they even have champagne bottles and a little vending machine, which I'll show you in a bit. favorite spots Louis Bossy right behind me super popular amazing food this is a must try place if you're on Las Olas Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale Fort Lauderdale is changing believe it or not Forbes announced not long ago that there's gonna be an additional 20 to 30 high rises in Fort Lauderdale Florida making it a downtown city living condo lifestyle last spot i want to share with you here in downtown port lauderdale before we head over to the beach right behind me are gondolas this is pretty neat so the gondola fits about six passengers plus the actual captain but you can rent it out it's 250 dollars for um at least two hours i'm not exactly sure on the time frame but it's really nice, so if you wanted to grab food or order from the actual restaurant where they're parked, which is an Asian fusion place, you can grab it to go, and they will take you through some little canals that big boats can't, ne can't necessarily even get through. So it's nice and private. You're not on a massive boat like that Jungle Cruise. This is more, uh, it's intimate. Six people just wanted to share. It's a huge attraction and they definitely book up in advance. So if you're thinking about doing it before you come to Fort Lauderdale, make sure to book it online. So we have arrived at the first house here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. These are very grand homes. They're very large, very, you know, kind of up in terms of price. This particular house that I'm bringing you to, it is five bedrooms seven bathrooms, 5,700 square feet, and it is priced at 8,900,000. It was built in 2010, as well as uh, been completely, you know, it's very custom built. Um, I will share with you some pictures. I have been in this home myself. It's very gorgeous. What's really beautiful is the actual flooring has seashells. Um, and every single floor is a different color, so it's really nice, very beautiful, very picturesque. Kind of has like a mermaid feel to it. Now, you can actually end up owning a condo. There are other buildings besides these beachfront ones, so you can still have that beach lifestyle. Um, those generally are about 500000 uh, like a two bedroom, two bath, about 800, uh, a thousand square feet or so. Um, you would basically kind of walk through the smaller streets through here, through these bigger um, buildings to get to the beach. But talk about a great location. Rises. So once you get north of Sunrise Boulevard, it's really quiet. It's just all the locals for the most part. Um, 
And the buildings behind me, if you really want ocean front or beach front, I should call them, there is a Palm Residence, Auberge, and those condos are actually about between 2 million up to 7 million, depending on the building you're in. But for example, like Auberge, um, they tend to be about more in the three, five, six million, depending on the actual square footage and size. I know that there is another building over here, uh, closer to Las Olas Boulevard. The same development company contractors who built Auberge built it over here, and those tend to go for about three million. They're about two bedroom, two bath, um, almost 2,000 square feet, about 3.3 million on average if you wanna live there. Otherwise, you can always end up getting kind of like a smaller little beach condo if you're hardly here, just want a second um, residence. Great location, again, um, behind these buildings. Those particular condo buildings are older. They were built in the 60s um, and generally tend to be about three stories. So it's a really great opportunity to have that beach style living without the actual high price ticket. So we are in another part of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I just wanted to bring you to the second home, which I'll show you in a moment, but I really wanted to show you how picturesque this neighborhood is. There are actually a lot of trees, so it's nice. There are sidewalks on some of the streets, so you can actually take a stroll. Very residential, very quiet, kind of away from that downtown. But what's really great is that downtown is just five minutes away in the car, so it's not that far. These homes here tend to be smaller, uh, a lot of them built in the 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s. Some of them been knocked down, new construction, um, and some of, them, um, some of them are still kind of that same small size. The lots are smaller in general in this area, rather than 10,000 square foot lots, 11,000, they might just be about 5,000 or even uh, 6,000 square foot lots. So overall, the size of the home that you have here, it can't be that large unless you end up having to do like a two-story home. But for example, like this home behind me tends to be a smaller, a bit more outdated, whereas this one in particular, black and white, looks like it's been completely updated, very picturesque, very charming. Um, if you'll notice, they don't necessarily have a garage, they kind of have a carport. Um, yet you have this one that is two-story. You can tell it has been redone. It is newer, but the home that I did want to bring you to, um, this one, is actually right here behind me. It is a four-bedroom, four-bath house. Uh, currently priced at 1.5 million and about 2,700 square feet. It was built in 1939, um, but they did do some work to it. As you can tell, they don't have yet again a garage. They have their vehicles parked um, in the driveway, but this is a really nice neighborhood. People walking their dogs really quiet. It's, it's just a really nice residential area of Fort Lauderdale. So I do want to share with you Holiday Park. It is in this area. Holiday Park is a great place. They're actually building the Florida Panthers um, ice skating rink, the practice rink. So a lot of the residents can really enjoy that, but they currently have like soccer leagues, lacrosse, adult frisbee, soccer, a lot of activities for everyone to enjoy as well as pickleball. So let's head over there right now. So I'm here at Holiday Park. There are two entrances. Uh, one of them is right here on US 1, which I actually prefer, or you can go through Sunrise. But what's really nice is the Parker Playhouse right behind me in the evening weekends when they're having plays. It can, that parking lot right there can be really crowded and full. Over here, as you can see, this airplane for veterans and anyone there is a war memorial auditorium that they are redoing so it'll be a really great attraction to come and see when it's all said and done and next to it is the new ice rink that they're building for the florida uh, panthers hometown is fort lauderdale but it's really great for the residents 
is we will have an ice rink here in the city. So if you want to learn how to ice skate, maybe for those kids who want to start off playing hockey, we will have the option in addition to tennis, baseball, soccer, football, everything that they already offer. Behind me, we have uh, real grass where we do have soccer games for children of all ages as well as the football field. To my other side, we have more fields. That's actually artificial turf that they recently did. So it's really nice and new. Um, the children have options, whether it's soccer, football, lacrosse, um, baseball. There's actual baseball fields here. There's even a dog park um, as well. The park itself offers a lot of options um, as well as tennis courts right here behind me and they just incorporated pickleball in case you're a fanatic. I know that's kind of a newer thing but this is a very very large park has a lot to offer playgrounds just regardless of age children and adults check it out. So we are in another part of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We are just about five, seven minutes away from the beach. Um, it's a very quiet neighborhood. The homes here have pretty much been um, either remodeled or um, some of the homes torn down and built newer homes. This, as you can kind of see behind me, um, the homes are a bit more modern, updated with a white and black kind of um, look and you can see they have a really nice marble driveway there. This particular home is a single family, the one to the left of me, and if you actually notice um, to the right of me you'll see a two-story home um, and it's actually the one I'm going to be showing you and even across the street they have a really gorgeous really gorgeous almost double lot home it's very very expansive kind of on this end um, but it's a really nice quiet area some people have boats in their driveway as well but the home um, I'm gonna be taking you to is a five bedroom five bath house it's 3700 square feet and it is listed for 3.1 million if you'll see it behind me so it's very new it was actually built in 2016 so this is the home, gorgeous. Um, like I said, for example, this house to the left of me, it's a double lot. Um, and here it's still a single story renovated. So definitely people have come in and upgraded the homes, torn them down, built bigger homes. But overall, great neighborhood, not far from the beach like we were earlier. So as I mentioned, best kept secret in Fort Lauderdale. Did you know there are speakeasies here in Fort Lauderdale? I'm actually standing in front of one of them. It is Vino's Wine Bar and Cocktail Lounge. And the only way to access it is through the back. Um, kind of near the alleyway, there's a door. You just don't think anything of it, but I guess there's a particular knock, a way to get in. I have not gotten in, but I know people who have spoken to me about it. Um, so it is located in here in the back. It's a secret room. It's been fun showing you around Fort Lauderdale, Florida. If you are still thinking of moving to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. And don't forget to subscribe down below to our channel, as well as tap on the bell, so that way you're the first to be notified about the current real estate market in Fort Lauderdale, Florida.